20 days. 20 days. 20, 20, 20. Mary Jane is quite hungry, getting something to drink. Okay, there's not, no real news then. Mm, Mary Jane needs water. That's pretty much it. Well, we can swing that. We would rather go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. She was covered it with something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. Well, we have a lock. Hell yeah. Well, I'll just lock them out. That'll do. Oh my gosh, Mary Jane, you look... Oh, is that soup? Have you lost the ability to find your mouth now? Oh my good. Oh man, we could do with some medical supplies, really. I, I, I think Ted's more important. Sorry, Mary Jane. We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break in a fair shock, but ultimately gave up and left. Talk about that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup hungry barbarians. Mary Jane is quite hungry and pretty fatigued. Taurus is not eating for a while. Ted should drink something soon. I think we can swing it. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets dark. If all goes well, they'll be able to find us. Sounds like we'll be leaving soon. Not without a goddamn flashlight we want. Oh. Something else I didn't pick up from that bloody house. Damn it. Ugh. Well, everyone's hanging on in there. Just. Just. Military really are here. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Especially in this economy. Especially if it is wiped out. <laughs> Fair evening. Okay, food for Mary Jane, but not urgent. Ted needs water. I think that's the only urgent urgent. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it and the neighbourhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? What if it was the people who were trying to break in leaving traps for us now? Ah, ah. Our supplies aren't in a dire situation. I ain't risking it. So now who's sick? Oh, it's still Mary Jane. Okay. Okay, I thought, oh, look at this. <gasps> Timmy. Timmy, you the man. Look at this. A big jug of water. Some more soup. Okay, day 23. It's pretty simple. If you don't know where it comes from, we cannot trust it. Even though we'll take soup from a cockroach nest, of course. There's no way we're taking this gift. We left it outside. Maybe some cockroach will want it. The kind of cockroach that enjoys ties, an occasional cigar, and of course, leather suitcases. Yay, he's back with the suitcase and the Boy Scout manual. We ran the airdrop crates during our expedition. We should probably be thankful to President Fonda for organising drops for the survivors, provided he's still the one in charge. Getting a country nuke during your term doesn't sound like a good thing to put on your resume. Food drops or bread, cheese, meat, chocolate, or oh, tomato soup cans. Hooray. Because we could all do with some more tomato soup. So I've got to fill the water crate with something to soften the form. Know if Every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit with some high quality drugs. We were running short, so the opportunity to replenish them was something we were eagerly awaiting. We just didn't expect a medical content to fall on another scavenger's head. That was pretty traumatic. We might need some drugs to cope with the memory. The box we found was intended for a colony of lumberjacks. It was full of <laughs> full of axes. We took one. Why only one if it was full of axes? Take more than one. Take a whole handful. Oh, that's the okay. So Mary Jane needs food and water. Mary Jane food water. Dolores water. Should do the uh, whoop, 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 whoop. wait a minute. Now we only have one, sorry Mary Jane, I want to keep Ted. We could do another expedition, couldn't we? Yeah, screw it. At this point, we really need to, I think. The raid at Camp on our street has been especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. <laughs> oh, gosh darn rapscallions. 
We won't stand for that. Somebody should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland aren't just miserable victims, and that someone should be us, because going into a suicide mission with an axe sounds like just the kind of thing we should be doing. Holy shit, who's going? Well, at least I guess we're not dead. Yay, Ted's better. Fantastic. Oh, we lost our axe. Damn it. Maybe I wasted... That was a wasted thing, wasn't it? We won the battle. These bandits were no match for us. We quickly overpowered them and forced them out of the camp. We were quite exhausted, but it was definitely worth it. We hope they won't bother us for a while. Well, I certainly hope not, because now all we really got to arm ourselves with is tins of soup and a Boy Scout manual. Dolores needs food. Let's give Dolores some food. Mm, need another medical kit for... Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, let's risk it. Let's send Ted out with the, this. And the, this. Should he take the radio? What if the radio breaks? What if we need the radio while he's gone? Just the Boy Scout manual then. Just the Boy Scout manual is enough. Okay. Okay. Alright. Situation. Food. Mm, something to drink for Timmy. That's pretty much it, I guess. We're just... We're just pummeling, we're just, we're just ticking along nicely here. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Da 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 Why don't you all do that? If the radiation's gone, I guess you could just wander around a little bit more, couldn't you? I mean, why not? Oh, no, no, Timmy! Timmy, you, are you sitting too close to Mary Jane, God damn it! Oh, Dolores, you just scoot your chair over there a little bit. Just, just, just scoot you all the way over to that wall. Don't breathe. You don't need oxygen, right? Just don't breathe. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. I don't know. We're probably going to be dead down here pretty soon. Food. Very thirsty. Okay, Mary Jane needs water. Timmy, food. I guess I could swing a little bit more. Uh, not the raider camp again. We haven't got anything to attack them with. Let's just let's just hide and hope that they don't come and kill us all. Oh, gee, Dolores, you don't look too good. You don't look too good, Dolores. I told you to scooch up against that damn wall, didn't I? Going out there and provoking these brutes is the last thing we want to do. Especially after we did it once already, and they'll probably remember us from last time. We simply don't stand a chance against them. It's harsh, but that's the truth. Compared to them, we're innocent, delicate flowers. Yeah, well, we didn't rob off anybody, the old folks, and we didn't gamble. But we did go and swing an axe at the Raiders before, but I don't think we killed any of them. Dear, dear, Tim, we should eat something. Should? Doesn't need to. You guys can all swing it for another day with no food, right? The siblings visit us today. They told us they're searching for the... There. Yeah, searching the town for a safe place that would do well as a possible camp. So far, their group has been living in a tent, but they're picking up more wastelanders every day, and they simply don't have enough space. They mentioned that a map of the neighbourhood could be very... Out well, sorry. Sorry about that. But we took it out with us and kind of fucked it. So... Uh, but that's no good. That ain't happening. Oh shit, Mary Jane's gone. Oh shit. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay. When Mary Jane's sickness got worse, and we, when we weren't able to provide her with medicine, she decided it's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back, since she never even liked our town to begin with. She's just got bigger aspirations. There's nothing wrong with that. You go, Mary Jane. I mean, this place is a bloody hellhole. I mean, it was pretty shit before the bombs fell, but now. Now you really have got nothing left to stay for, so good, you, you go for it, girl. It's a big wide world out there, and if some of it hasn't been nuked, then then you go. Yeah, if we had a map, we would definitely share it with them. We apologise and send them on that way. Timmy, very hungry. Maybe we should give Timmy food more now. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from my house door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. Oh, man, I didn't open the first one. I'm gonna. I'm starting to get to the stage where it's like nothing to lose. Let's just. Let's just screw it. <laughs> Who's sick now? Oh, it's just Timmy. Okay. So. Oh, water bottle. There's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking out the suitcase, but it looks absolutely harmless and purified. We hope we get to meet this generous stranger one day and thank him or her personally for keeping our family well hydrated. Timmy should eat something. Florence has eaten for a while. Laura should get water. 
thing to lower us, and water is pretty much the only urgent thing. Screw the bandit camp! We'll just have to get we'll just have to get used to their parties, I'm afraid. For the meantime. Where the flippin' heck is Ted? Oh my gosh, I'm starting to get worried about this. Somebody should really sort these bandits out. Give them a run for their money. We're 100% behind that idea. We're also 100% not going outside and risk our own lives. So if someone else could just do it, that would be awesome, Matt. Surely somebody else can take care of the Raiders, right? Yeah, we did it once. Fuck it, it's time for somebody else to have a go. Timmy's very hungry. Belly and Swift, she just need tonight. Okay, so Dolores needs food. Timmy's not starving to death. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverised out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighbourhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombings. Definitely less dangerous people on the streets, but also more dangerous people. Less people, but more dangerous people. Oh, is that Ted? Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. You've seen better days. At least Dolores isn't sick. So what have we got? Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Next mission the must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious. We're going to give up and come back empty-handed when we run into a church. It looked peaceful enough, save for an... Oh, wow, we got one tin of soup. An exploded toy bomb stuck in the church tower. A sizable group of people were busy praying to the bomb, chanting something about the holy fission. That sounded really crazy, but those people seem friendly enough. We've seen... We've bumped into a lot of seemingly friendly people. Those nice people gave us some canned soup. They say they don't like the taste of it. Now we're certain that they're no jobs, because that tomorrow soup is the best damn fine thing in the world. Courts has decided they won't be needing any holy water. We did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full of water bottles. Two water bottles is a good extra addition. Okay, so I guess we can give Timmy food, water. Hmm. Why not, I guess. Ooh, I don't really I don't really think an expedition is a good idea for anybody at the moment. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time the next one's to get out with a flashlight. <laughs> we haven't got a flashlight. We can't this oh shit. Oh, Ted's definitely seen better days. Oh shit, what the hell is Dolores up to? There were only so many days around he can survive without food. Ted was strong, but it was too much for him. He starved. Starved to death? It didn't say he was dying of hunger. Shit. And, uh, to his sickness, it might get worse. I noticed that. Dolores really looked to eat something. Ah, Dolores' sanity is questionable. Ew. Let's give her food and water. Maybe it'll make her feel better about herself. I'm not sending anybody out for a freaking expedition. And I'm not attacking any raiders. Bandits, it just ain't happening, I'm afraid. Oh, Jesus, Timmy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Somebody should really sort these bandits out. Yeah, okay, same thing. Timmy's rested, Doris, and I get him for a while. I guess now we're just counting down the days to death because if we had a flashlight, we might have been out of here by now. The breakfast we were knocking our door was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. Arms as in arms or arms as in Phew. He told us his group was having a hard time finding supplies. Wherever they go, they got shot at first sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. The friendly mutant presented us with an offer. Oh, it did mean arms, arms. In exchange for some supplies, his folk would escort us on our next expedition. We ain't going on North freaking expeditions anytime soon, but you know what? Help yourself with some soup because we've only got two people to feed now. Well, we've lasted a, more than a month. That's pretty good going, isn't it? The stranger quickly became a friend when we agreed to his terms. It doesn't cost us that much, and we will sleep easier knowing that we will come back safely from our next trip to the surface. Timmy needs water. Dolores is clearly giving in to the madness. We wish we could stop it. Well, well, this is a matter of time, surely. It's so easy to escalate silly arguments in close quarters. It doesn't help. We were chatting, and then suddenly we were fighting and fighting. Let's just hope we'll get over this soon. Well, a really, really severely sick teenage boy was having a fight with his clearly insane mother. That kind of been pretty. Oh, how are we still hanging on? Oh my goodness me. Oh. Enough arguing. There are more important things to worry about. Like, you know, you know, Ted just being spoiled out as a skeleton there. Uh, there's nothing new going on. Timmy. Glorious Okay, Glorious needs water. 
I ain't sending nobody to an expedition. I, we've got nothing to fight bandits with. What the heck was that noise? I thought I heard a noise. Like a, like a, okay. Uh, evidently not then. That's fine. Somebody should really sort these bandits out. No, I'll say anything again. Okay, Timmy's very hungry. I guess you guys can have food because let's be honest, we ain't feeding an army here. It's really hard to decipher anything from a ruined map, so we've got an idea to restore it a bit, patch it up a little, maybe even update it. Good job we got the Boy Scout book then. It's come in handy for something. Oh boy, this is this is getting agonizing now. There's nothing I can do. I'm like I'm trapped. I'm stuck. Good news, we could also about that we could use. The question is, can anyone read it properly? Well Dolores certainly can't. Okay, Timmy needs water. Dolores is very unpredictable. Sometimes we're a bit afraid of her. Okay, we'll give Timmy some water then. Um Gosh. The siblings visit us today. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, yes, they can have a map this time. We've got a map. We've got a map. You can have the map. Yes, we're still hanging on. Somehow. What did they give us? Did they give us anything in exchange? We don't seem to have anything. Oh, we were happy to see them again. We quickly hand them our map and pointed out several locations that might be worth checking out. They left before it got dark to still get a few hours of scouting in daylight, but they said they would definitely be back again to share some news in a friendly chat, if we're not all fucking dead, of course. We hope they find a good place, maybe we could visit them when the camp is ready, why couldn't they take us with them? Timmy's on his best behaviour, how long will that last? Oh, Dolores needs water. I really don't know how long her insanity's gonna last. I mean, how long she's gonna... before she dashes off like a mad woman into the wasteland. Well... For now, for now, no, 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 nothing new. Sun is very questionable, but nobody's starving or dying of thirst. Knocking on the door, who could it be this hour? Who would, could it be in this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did they survive the nuke? At this stage, nothing to lose. Might as well fucking go for it. YOLO. Oh, I just said YOLO. I, I apologize. Where the hell did Timmy go? Oh no. So now my entire party consists of one crazy woman. Timmy was very sick and there's nothing we could have done to make it better. He's understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents. Oh yeah, yes, his parents, a skeleton and a woman who seems to think that she's some kind of Tyrannosaurus Rex. He left and never came back. Nice mysterious fellow in a weird suit, gave us some soup cans. You know, you know, all these supplies, and now we only have one person. What would, what we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again? We can't say there's a lot of light on the ground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here. How many more days? I mean, geez, how? What the? F I mean, she was nuts before, but now her kids have both run away, and her, her husband's skeletons have been sat next to her for the last like what ten days. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, Dolores needs water. This is just a, this is just a parade towards death. We're not going to get anywhere without that flashlight. We're not going to get anywhere without that flashlight, and there's no real way of getting it now. It's, it's just. Oh, this is agony. This is agony. Okay, I'll just. Why can't they just come and find us? You maniacs! You blew it up! Damn you! Damn you all to hell! That's something we should have told our neighbours when they blew up that barbecue last spring. Those were good times. Even if they waited a perfectly good barbecue. Oh. Oh. Oh, the radio broke. No! How did the radio break? Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow, if there is a tomorrow. The peace and quiet of our shelter was disturbed today when Dolores suddenly jumped out of her seat and started cursing at the radio. We begged her to sit down and relax. Who begged her to sit down and relax? There's nobody there to stop her. What the fuck? The radio wasn't even on, but she kept saying she could hear voices coming out of the speakers. Clearly they belonged to someone really impolite because Dolores showered the box with the most creative set of insults and occasional screams like, You won't get my cans! Or, How dare you speak this way of my mother! Dolores has won the argument by smashing the eleven-minded radio on the floor. Only then she calmly went back to her seat with a triumphant look on her face. The whole thing was getting oh, the whole thing was quite disturbing, but if you want to avoid her wrath, it's probably best to never mention it to Dolores again. There's nobody to mention it to Dolores except me. Oh 
like this man on the other side of our door knocking claims willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. How about a checkerboard? Because there's nobody else to play with. <laughs> what? We offered checkers instead of ammunition. The visitor was quite confused and tried to explain to us what ammunition is. We pretended to understand nothing. It was very amusing until left with our checkers board. Asshole. Oh, so he just took our... Well, it's not like she's got anybody left to play with, so it's fine. It's totally cool. She can just... What the hell? This can't go on indefinitely, can it? Another gambling opportunity that we'll have to pass up. Not that it matters. We don't need food. We need a flashlight. Could somebody just give us a flashlight? Because that would be awesome. I mean, since we're only like feeding and watering one person now, it's not like... Oh gosh. The friendly group came today to say that the camp is almost complete, but they need a few more items to make the place really worth living in. It's mostly about the children. There's a bunch of them in the camp, and their only entertainment so far is playing tag in the sad ruins of their homes. The group is collecting toys to keep the children happy and stop them from running off into the wasteland. Like my children already did! Oh yay, that makes me feel like such a good parent. And damn, I shouldn't have given the damn checkerboard away. Bugger. Oh my god, day 48? How... What the f... We wish I had some means of entertainment now, Bunker, but sadly it's not the case. These kids will have to find some other way to keep themselves occupied. This is agony. Been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still much to be done. Like trimming that shrubbery in our yard. That's definitely something we want to get, to, uh, want to do when we get out of here. Yes, pretty soon there'll be... The wo- The- I- Holy crap. A relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Nothing for you. We've discussed everything we could, and no one is willing to chat anymore. The sounds is really disturbing. Should we do we uh, we should do something before we start talking to ourselves instead? Well How the hell have I got to fifty oh my gosh, she's getting worse. To be fair, she did quite well to survive the madness for so long. Oh she's tired now. There's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear the neighbours in their shelter. Why didn't you go see the neighbours? I'll keep you sane. Oh. Oh, day 51. This is crazy. How the heck have... Uh, 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 my gosh, this has been so bad for so long. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. Da, da, la, la. Yeah, okay, it's pretty much the same thing I said before. It's not, it hasn't got anything new to tell me now because I've been drifting through the days and it's probably just bringing out of interesting things to tell me because there's nothing happening and there's nothing I can do. Nothing at all I can do. No sleep. Having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenge that await us outside these thin shelter doors. Oh my goodness. She's been living on her own down here for like nearly two weeks. Wow. There's not even any other things to talk about. Well, this is just getting depressing now. Oh my gosh, really? Ugh. Ugh. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not in our heads anyway. It feels like I've been down here for as long as she actually has been down here. I have no idea you've been playing this, but I thought I'd just do one run through, and I didn't think it would take this long. You may as well eat something because uh, we don't exactly have to ration stuff. Oh my gosh, it's just never ending. See, to feel a bit down when living underground like this. Nah, 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 nah. I. I just. What? Oh, that was definitely a gunshot. That was definitely a gunshot. Alright then. 
a gunshot for maybe it's just okay. Oh, we've got nothing to give you. We need somebody else to come and knock on the door. I don't know who or why or what. At this stage, there's there's nothing we can do. I'm just curious to see how long you can keep me going. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something's been making a lot of noise since dawn and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor. And coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. But unfortunately, I've got nothing to attack whatever it is with. So that could just be the end of it. Going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea. Especially with those weird noises coming from it. They're giving us the creeps, even up here. Water for Dolores. Sorry, as if there could be water for anybody else. Here, Ted Skeleton! Have some water! Oh, she's not tired anymore. That's good. Now oh, she's just insane. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Huh. Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. Should we prepare a mushroom feast? We got plenty of soup. Let's not go risking eating magic mushrooms. That ain't a good idea. I mean, she's already seeing things. She doesn't need. She don't need no magic mushrooms to get on no trip right now. <laughs> we may be hungry, but there are just some things we'll never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. But she can have some soup. Lovely soup. A gang of thugs started banging on our door. It was surrendered to go up all our supplies. How did we respond to these scumbags? Please don't kill me, or in this case, please kill me. Oh my god. Poor Ted the dad, he just sat there, skeletal, his family gone. Wow, that's really depressing. Oh no, instead of murdering us all and robbing our supplies like we expected them to do, the bandits grabbed Dolores and pulled her out of the shelter, kicking and screaming. Damn you bandits, Dolores will make you pay for this, we're sure of it. 62 days. That's pretty good for a first time round. What? That's a lot of that's a lot of shenanigans to go through. Wow. There we go. That was my excessively long, longer than expected play, first playthrough of sixty seconds. It definitely lasted longer than sixty seconds. That was a trip. That was a trip. Okay. Well, that's that. I don't know. I might play this again. Hopefully have a bit of a quicker playthrough and actually, you know, win. That would be nice. But yeah, um, great game. If you ever get the chance to play it, I recommend it. And maybe you guys can actually get, do more than I managed to in 62 days. Two months. And I didn't manage to win. Gosh. Okay, well that's that. That's that done. So please like, subscribe, check out my Facebook and Twitter accounts. And have yourselves a good morning, afternoon, evening and night. And uh, I'll see you guys next time around. <laughs> Bye.